I made a new suspension vehicle. This thing's got some suspension that's as bouncy or more so than the hop vehicle I did. It doesn't jump like hop did, but boy, it sure is bouncy. And it does a pretty good job. My computer struggles a little bit with it. More right now than other times because I've got some other applications running. So I'm sort of taxing it to its limits. Probably need some more RAM. Anyway, there it is. And uh, this thing will drive to the treasure. So I'll do that later after the... Uh, after I get a chance to uh, show you how it works. Let me reload this thing and uh, I'll show you. All right, there we go, I got it reloaded. Let me turn off transparency on everything. So you can just see the whole ball of wax there. There we go. So uh, I did a number of things on this build that I've not done on any previous ones. Uh, this right here has been done before, but not to this level. Um, I put these are the regular wheels, so they're back wheels, um, but they are, they're not the old wheels. And there's more back wheels, and I offset them from each other. So this one's over here, then that one's over there, so there's kind of a zigzag sort of pattern. And that keeps as many of those wheels touching the ground as possible. You know, so when this one leaves the ground, this one's touching, and then it leaves and this one's touching. Um, these have a lot of traction, so uh, they, they also have a lot more weight than the old wheels. Um, and they don't do the sliding thing like the old wheels do. The old wheels are a little forgiving. These are more bouncy. Um, but they're stronger by far. So I wanted to try to use them and see if it would work. And it didn't work until I added this top this top layer here. Uh, so you can see, I saw earlier, there's a there's a little piece right there. That piece, that's, that's this piece right here. I just duplicated this whole set uh, up and just connected it with the longer pieces. Uh, so you can see this piece here goes all the way to the bottom. It runs all the way down and all the way up to the top. That's like kind of the core piece of the vehicle, and it's connected to the gold block that's uh, that's the platform that my chair sits on too. Uh, this here is just a plastic block. It uh, just kind of provides a little extra layer of protection. Uh, it's collision off, so so that I can get into the vehicle. Um, I've got more you know jets and stuff inside here. Obviously, you can see the downward firing thrusters for. Or, uh, lots of downforce uh, that actually helps a lot with this thing to uh, to make it so that these wheels stay on the ground uh, the suspension is very active on this one as you saw um, the bonus to this as you go down the river this this thing actually does make it to the treasure and the only way it does so is because of the extra uh, suspension pieces up on top here so I, I cloned the entire suspension mechanism what is it got like five sets of them in there I guess I only see four sets, so I got two below, two above. Um, but it kind of just occurred to me to put them above, and it was like a miracle. It was like all of a sudden the thing can drive to the treasure. Uh, so the bottom ones get taken out all the time by various items in the water and uh, under the river, uh, like the tides stage, for instance. Um, that's got a lot of stuff under the water, so uh, it, it can take out those uh, those suspension pieces under there. Uh, but it doesn't touch any of the ones on top, so it's like a little insurance policy. So it's kind of cool. Um, and of course, I put neon inside inside these uh, these wheels here. And if I delete one of those wheels, you can see it's just a single square of neon. And that one is um, let's see how big it is here. So it's three by three by 0.1 thick. So and I just kind of you know made that and then sunk it into the tire there, so it has a little decoration. Um, Protection blocks are all plastic, collision off. Uh, the uh, titanium here is, of course, collision off. And I've got multiple pieces just because uh, I experiment. And when something doesn't work right, I just experiment some more in a different way. Oh, there's a jet down there. Look at that. Huh. So I made part of this a long time ago, struggled with it, struggled with it, and finally just came up with the... Uh, duplicating the suspension up above the vehicle and that works excellent so this is a private server and it's probably finished loading by now so I'm gonna run down the river with this thing I might have to get rid of this I'm gonna make this stuff invisible because it's crazy difficult to uh, drive with those things turned on oh, they're up my trees too Hey, there you can see the uh, suspension real nice. 
That's really cool. I've never done that before. Neat. So yeah, that's uh, that's my new suspension vehicle. Uh, it rivals Hop in, in a few different ways, but it doesn't actually hop very well. Uh, it's way too heavy for that, and I had to do way more things to it to make those uh, these wheels work. So Hop uses the regular monster truck tires, and uh, you know they're heavy, but they're not multifaceted. They don't they don't have multiple points hitting the river at the same time, so they have superior grip. Uh, when you take off with that thing. The wheel grips all the way around 100%. Uh, with this one here, it kind of bounces from one wheel to the uh, next. Um, so it really doesn't have a lot of traction, uh, at least not on its own. And certainly not traction under pressure and speed like, like Hop does when it's driving up the side of a wall. So this one's different, but it's also it's also neat. It's impressive that uh, it can survive to the, to the treasure, unless of course I have too many exploding things and blow myself up here. Uh, you can see that those top suspension pieces are still in play. The wheels are still attached. Things are still working. It's taken a little bit of a beating here and there, but I'm just kind of plowing through, and it's making it. And, of course, uh, right there at the lighthouse stage, the, the big plastic protection box doesn't really do a whole lot. So I'm curious how this looks underneath here. Oh, man, the front ones are gone. The back one might as well be. It's completely destroyed. Well, that's the value of the uh, the top suspension, that's for sure. So you can do so top suspension if you have enough counterweight to offset the weight of the top suspension. Otherwise, your vehicle becomes kind of top-heavy and sloppy and have a different problem. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope to see your bouncy, flexy suspension vehicles in the game sometime. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.